from uh, India to Kenya? Is it something very, very easy? Like, is it easy for, no. for you to migrate and live here? No. no. Not like Chinese. Okay. Chinese, Chinese. Chinese is easier because they come as investors. Even those guys are investors. The Indians that are coming here? Yeah. And the process is harder for them? Yes. How so? Because oh, mm. there are some things which I don't want to mention. Uh, yes, I understand completely. <laughs> I understand, of course. I understand, yeah. yeah. Some things no, it has yeah, to be private. Yeah, okay. I understand. Okay. Yeah. But if you switch off your camera, I can raise it. Yes, okay. Yes. We will. Okay. Definitely will do that. Okay. But yeah, but yeah. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you the final, final questions. That friend that moved here, you said nine ago, nine years ago. Um, now he's, he's, he's living in Kenya, right? Has he at any point in the nine years considered like this Kenya? I'm just frustrated. I want to go back to India. Like, has no, he found life no, in Kenya no. good and okay. would like to stay? You know, investors who used to come during Moy's era and Kibaki era and uh, Uru's era, yeah. they made the investment and they generated the money. Yes. Right now, yeah. right now, yeah. no one wants to invest in Kenya. Yeah. I don't want to mention the yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And right now, even the investors are moving out of Kenya. Yeah, I know. Why? Yeah. So the, there are so many reasons. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm an econ economist also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was really nice. Uh, thank you for engaging us. Yes, yeah. it was really but the nice thing is what, you. you know? Just switch off the camera. Yes, I want yeah. to. I want to, but thank you. Thank yeah. you for talking it's to really, us. It's really, really, it's really no, nice. No, very What's your good name, sir? Irfan. Irfan. Irfan from India in Gujarat. Irfan. One more question. What is what we're making vlogs for YouTube, and we are very interested in the Indian community here in Kenya. Okay. Is there a temple or another place that you recommend that we go visit? While okay, we I will recommend you to go to the first temple. Okay, where there are three things in Mombasa, mm -hmm. not three, four things. Whereas it's called Asian quarters. Till now, the name is Asian quarters in Mombasa. In Mombasa, okay. Okay. Asian quarters. Yes. There was the estate, oh. all the Indians, mm -hmm. all the Indians used to stay. There's a temple uh -huh. for Hindus, there's a mosque, there's a Sikh temple which become to Guru Nanak clinic and there's a church. And it's been how long that it, it's there? It's over centuries. Centuries ago, my God. That's interesting, yeah? Wow. Mm -hmm. Till now the name is mm -hmm. Asian Quarters. And I can tell you where it is. In Mombasa? Yeah. Mombasa. Where is it? The first roundabout. Okay. Entering Mombasa is Makuba. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, it is. Eh? I haven't been to Mombasa for years, but I've heard that name. First roundabout, mm -hmm. heading to Makuba Police Station. Makuba, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Just opposite, opposite Makuba Police Station. Uh, mm -hmm. Even if you mention a small kid, where is Asian quarters? They'll show you this. They'll show you opposite Whoa. Makuba Police Station. Okay. So how do you know that so much about so the Mombasa? Crazy. It lives there. You live in Mombasa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seven generation, born yes. and raised. Yes. Let me ask you another question. You may not know the answer, though. What led the Indian immigration in Kenya? What led to that? What led to that? Yes. Labor. Labor. Yes. Labor. Cheap labor. Yeah. Cheap. Let labor. me remind you. Cheap labor during colonial time. Yeah. Oh. As she was mentioning okay. yesterday, okay. to build the railways in East Africa, yes, they railway. used to like this uh, Gurudwara. Uh -huh. Okay, the Sikh temple in Makindu. Mm -hmm. It's there since 1856. No, not 1856. 1896. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday I was coming to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I stood there and read. Mm -hmm. 1896. 1896. Wow. That's more than 100 years ago. Wow. 100 something yeah. years ago. It's a long time, eh? It's a very long time. And that, that Asian quarters, okay, used to bring them to railway before it converted to Kenya power, Kenya ports. Oh, okay. 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 So that's the only place in all over Kenya uh -huh. having four things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having? Four things. Second thing in Mombasa, with so many exits, exit roundabouts, with so many exits, more than eight exits on the roundabout. Is in Mombasa in the smallest roundabout. There's what? Exit. Yeah. Uh -huh. In Mombasa, Chuda. Uh -huh. Chuda, Chuda wow. roundabout. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Nowhere in Kenya has got so many exits than that roundabout. Eight, eight of them. <laughs> yeah. So you said you're living here since 1856. So you were here present when, like you know, Africa was colonized. I was not there. My, like, his, his family. Ancestors. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. And when Gandhi ji he came here, you must be there, right? No. Oh, your ancestor, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this man is not a thousand years yeah. old now. Ancestor, your ancestors, he grew there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Is that what I am? Like no. No, no. For me, yeah. you know, Mombasa is white. I like Mombasa. Yeah. Okay, anytime. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. I can move out. Even one while walking. Like Mombasa is white. Yeah. 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 Yeah, some, yeah, there are some streets which are not safe. Yeah, yeah, they yet to be developed, but it's developing, sir. So. Oh. I was recently there. Okay, but like in January there. I was in India. January, okay. So yeah. you go back often? You go to India often? No, I just got for my wife's medical. Okay, and that's okay. it. Okay. That's it. Okay. I don't even do my checkup. What yeah. what medical? His wife's, his wife's wife's medical, medical checkup. Yeah, okay, okay, medical. Okay. Like she, I went with her in January. Uh -huh. She went back in February. Right now, in August, she went back. She's coming tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why you're in Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, because right. I can tell you, you can't wait to get out of Nairobi and go back to Mombasa. No. Okay, I have to pick up. <laughs> yeah. Then I'll we'll have but we'll attend the wedding together yeah. with my buddies. And then go back to then go back. Mombasa. Okay. okay. But why? Why does she go to India for diabetic checkup and all that? Isn't there because any? Because she had an issue with the gangrene. Okay, isn't there any good hospital? Okay, the hostels are here, uh -huh. but uh, according to my knowledge yeah, and yeah. my experience, uh -huh. very issues in 2009. Oh, okay. When she was operated and she was told that she's having, I was told she's having cancer. Oh, okay. So I had to rush to Prince Ali Khan, which is already demolished right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. In Mumbai. Oh, okay. That time the doctor, the best doctor was Sultan Padan, okay. the second top doctor in India. Okay, in India, okay. okay. So basically, the hospital, uh, the medical facility is better in India yeah. than Kenya. You mean to say? Like she's That's having right. gangrene, it's an issue mm -hmm. with the bone disease okay. for diabetic people, mm -hmm. which makes your bone get rotten. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to amputate. Mm -hmm. So I have to take her. Okay. Yeah. And I have to say, there's a lot of Kenya. There's a lot of medical tourism. There's a lot of tourists, mm -hmm. Kenyans who go to India for treatment, treatment. especially cancer. Yes. Especially for cancer because oh, yes. cancer no, the, treatment the is what? Let me tell you the reality. Expensive. Okay, expensive. the reality is what? Here in Kenya, you will be told the diagnosis, well, also diagnosed, okay? It's going to be trial and error. Trial and error, you're, it's oh my error. god. Is That's the reality. Oh. Okay. But once uh, you go to India, uh, like my friend, yeah. my age mates, mm -hmm. my cousin, but we used to stay like a friend, not age mates or cousins, yeah. not like brothers. Mm -hmm. He was diagnosed. Here in India, in Kenya, that he had a backbone issue, painkillers, this and that. He went to India. He was diagnosed with having cancer oh. at the last stage, bone marrow issue. Yeah. Last stage, he was told he'll live for three months, three years, or thirty years. And he was told what to have mm -hmm. in food. But in Kenya, kula kila kit. Wait, okay. what, what, which was, may I ask which hospital that was? I don't want to mention anything. No, no. Okay, totally no. understand. Okay. Yes. One, one last question. <laughs> but you were saying that there is, uh, like, you know, people, uh, medical tour, for medical tourism, they yes, go to in, India? in India, a lot of people go Why? to India for treatment. Why? Is because that? it's much cheaper. Cheaper, okay. It's much, much cheaper uh, to be treated there than here. Okay. If, you, if you're going to be treated for cancer here, you can bankrupt very, very much, very easily. Is it in expensive? One month, in one month, you'll be bankrupt. Yeah, Within here it's month. very expensive. Wow. Is it for like cancer and stuff. For those, uh, what are they called? Terminal illnesses? Terminal illnesses. So, yeah, so there's a lot of people who go to India to get treated for that. Oh, okay. Even for that matter, not only Kenya, sir, I've seen people uh, from Bangladesh, all the bordering countries, they come to India for treatment. Bangladesh? Yes. From East Africa. Yes. People yes. from East Africa. Yeah. 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 I've seen people from yeah, all Tanzania. There's a lot of people who go to India. Yeah. To be honest, that, because medi medi medicine. But, yeah. When right I fly now, these people, like they right now, they don't want to go to Mumbai because Mumbai has become commercial. Commercial, yes, yes. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the reality. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, it's become business now. Like, when you go for medical to Mumbai, it's completely commercial. Complete. It's all about the money. Yes. Okay. Okay. My last I, question. I agree with you. Sir. My last question. I know you are Kenyan by generation. Do you feel that black 
Kenyans accept you as full Kenyan? Or let me tell you now, let me tell you the reality. I cut your hand right now, and I've cut my hands. There's a difference in blood color. No. Okay? Right. This is just color. Right. My brother is completely clear. Priya, she's completely clear than me. Yeah. But I'm an Indian. Yeah. She was not counting money, I was counting money. That's why I was in that color, my God. Mm. Yes, yes. So, color does not matter. You're correct, sir. When you cut the blood, the color of the blood is same. I'm, I'm aware of that, but I'm saying, do you feel like you're no, accepted hello, as let me a tell you, blockade? My buddies, my buddies, okay, who I sit with them, are more Africans than Indians. Mm. Because I'm comfortable with them. Wow, that's really cool. Because okay. nepotism, tribalism, yeah, yeah. this is the thing only dividing the world. Yeah. yeah. If wow. you want to stay happy, be happy with others. Yeah. I, I really like that question that you asked. Yes. So I then asked him that uh, since he's, he's Kenyan, yeah. but of Indian descent, he feels like Kenyans uh, accept him yes. here. And you say that more, your friends are more... African. You, it doesn't matter what color you are, but, uh, the color of the know, blood is still the red for all. You having African friends, is that are you think, you as a, sorry, what's your name again? What? Is it, is it, a you think or an Indian thing or your friends think or you think? Let me think? tell you, let me ask you a question now. Yes. Okay? <laughs> yes. Your father didn't have money. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nor I had money. Uh -huh. You are calling. Mm -hmm. You are getting pocket money, okay. but limited. Okay. You see a kibanda. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. and kibanda is a, like a shack where people go to eat. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> you had have a money, uh -huh. but little. Uh -huh. But there are so many tribes who are coming there, uh -huh. Africans and Indians to eat. Uh -huh. Will you enter to eat or deny your stomach? Enter to eat. That's a given. Okay. That's a given. So once you treat your kids that way, okay, they can go anywhere any place to eat mm. they're going to be the survivors okay that was my logic and that's why i survived okay, okay. So that's indirectly what I would say. indirectly i have it's answered you, you okay. <laughs> yes because i was about to counter your argument that's even our that's even why i switched on my camera but since he said it's a him thing then you can agree yeah. yes but if it's to say it's an indian community i will refute that okay i refute okay, that right because, now right now mm -hmm. especially i've seen in nairobi mm -hmm. Even Mumbai has already started. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. like many Indians who have come from India uh -huh. and uh, settled in Mombasa, uh -huh. their friend circle uh -huh. is not that only from their community, uh -huh. from different community. You know, yes. different cultures. Okay, uh -huh. make your broaden your mind. Yes, yes. that is true. Mm. Yeah, yes. you're correct. And also that integrating is. with the culture of the place where you've gone, it 100%. helps you yeah. to have an easier. And life. the issue here in Africa, uh -huh. I will also go to Africans now. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. There was a time. Uh -huh. Okay, you know Leso. Leso the sugar? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, Leso is a wrap. Is a wrap that women normally wrap around themselves. Used yeah. to wear. Or carry kids on the back. On the back. Okay. Yeah. Used to wear before even leaving the house, the yeah. door, main door. Mm -hmm. But Europeans came in and made you, okay, yeah. forget your culture. Yes, that is true. And once you forget your culture. Okay, you've forgotten yourself. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Very true. I agree, and I get what I get what you're one trying to say. Yeah. I, 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 I get point. exactly what he's trying to say. Okay. I agree with what you said. We have lost. Our, this one is uh, unarguable that we, have, as, as Africans, majority of us have lost, have lost so much of our culture. Right? You know, I'm not counting counting myself. No, my kids are counting themselves. Uh, or my wife, because mm. my wife, when she's from Kenya, uh -huh. all of us. Of Kenyans. Your wife is Indian Kenyan? Yeah. Or black Kenyan? Yeah. Indian Kenyan, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you one thing. Mm. Once you become the racist, okay? Mm -hmm. Like I will tell you, you cannot let your worker sit on the table with you to eat food. Mm. Now here you become racist. But if you compare that, okay, and let your worker also to wash the dish, that's when you eat your food. Okay, and she sits with you while having the food. It's not racist. Yeah. Uh, now there, okay, yeah. even God blesses your house. Okay. Mm. Okay. But that is that really happens. That really happens, to be honest. Yeah, because, it really happens. I've seen many places. Because if you, in Kenya? if you, yeah. no, no, if you talk to majority even, of, not, not even in Kenya, even in India, I've seen that. Yeah. They because say, come worry by. I won't disagree. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I have had, I have had a lot of. Okay, let's get into the real. 
the real deal. Yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of, especially casual laborers, because there's a lot of casual laborers who work for Indians okay. here. And if you ask majority of them, they don't have very good relationship. I want to say with their employers. Yeah. Okay. Most no, of wait, them complain. Let me tell you one thing. Once you come to business, business. Mm. If I have a good relationship with my business colleagues, my partner, okay, or the workers in Kenya, they start taking advantage of you. But it's not a. It's, no, it's no, not no, no, no. Let me tell you. You have to be stubborn, mm. a bit arrogant. But, okay. No, yeah. no, no. You have to be stubborn, arrogant. I agree. Yes. But can you let me counter your point? Uh. Then why is it that they complain only about Indians? Let me let me counter your point, okay? Why is it that they complain only about Indians? They do not complain because there's a lot of lab, casual laborers who are uh, employed by Africans, by Black Africans, right? But they do not say the same thing about uh, the African employ employers. But they complain a lot that the Indians let bosses me mistreat them. No, let me tell you the reality. There's a thinking mm -hmm. negative impact. The negative impact is this Indian has come from outside and is rolling. He's what? Mm -hmm. ruling. He's ruling. He's like my boss. Yeah. 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 That's a negative? Yes, it is. But I was employed by an African, Nicholas B. Watch, mm -hmm. the total man. Yeah, I know mm -hmm. Nicholas B. Watch. He's a big guy. He's a big shot. Mm -hmm. Black. He, was, he employed me as an Indian. Mm -hmm. They say an African is employing me or mm -hmm. mistreating me. No. Mm -hmm. You have to be, okay, straight with your work. Mm. Come to the point. Yeah. Not take me for a ride. Yeah. So do you feel then that the the, the okay, complaints... for, okay for me, uh -huh. okay? If your boss is mistreating you, uh -huh. how? Does it pay you? According to the law? Not on time. <laughs> Not on time? <laughs> Not on time. That is mistreating. Because <laughs> mistreating you is mistreating your family. Yes. yes. But if he is abusive, how is he abusive? Why is he abusive? Mm. Under what grounds? He's this degrading you. Yeah. Overworking and paying. No, all there's of that. nothing like that overworking. Since Kibaki time, I will tell you there's nothing like overworking. Mm. Since Kibaki, Kibaki is our third president. Third president. That's what that's mm. the person he's talking about. But because I, will, I I've worked also in administration, so yeah. I know. Yeah. So to be honest, I have never I've never worked for an Indian. So I wouldn't know I wouldn't know, but I have had a lot of those complaints. From uh, people who are work for Indians. <laughs> let me tell you one thing. No, I I believe that. Okay, every now and then, there is no worker in this world who has got no complaint about their boss. Yes, of course. Yes. There's always yes, going to be yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is true. That's so, that. that is true. That one I yeah. agree. But when it comes, when the complaints are more about one people than the other people, then it becomes sort of a problem. Yeah, do, you, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. Like we all have complaints, but if. All the complaints are about Priya and very little about him, and yet you have to do a process. You then you might be the problem. The, yeah. the one is complaint. Yeah. The one is complaint. Not regarding one tribe or caste. Yeah. There are so many trans, uh, transporters in Nairobi, yeah. who I know them, they're Indians, yeah. and the drivers are well paid. Yeah. Like there was a company called MCBC yeah. in Mombasa. Yeah. The, the guy was shot. An Indian guy? Yeah. He was shot by? By thugs okay. on the airport. Okay. He died. Okay. 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 He was the highest paying after Rongai uh -huh. to the drivers. Mm -hmm. You know, once you go to the histories mm -hmm. of people, what they were doing, mm -hmm. okay, you'll be shocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh. for I, I, me, for me, uh -huh. okay, like me, I will tell you right now. The Africans are complaining regarding uh, Indians mistreating them, and Indians are complaining regarding Africans mistreating them. Mm -hmm. If you go to government offices, let's, let's, let us talk the facts. Yeah. Where where would you rather live if you weren't here mm. between India and Kenya? Kenya. Why? You say India? And Kenya. Okay. Okay. Why is that? In okay. Kenya. Okay. So yes, I get his point. No, but but why? Why Kenya? All right. Huh? Why Kenya? Him. Let him eat. Yeah. Because you know, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> but in Kenya, I was brought up. You were what? I was brought up. Okay. The lifestyle Indians are living in India. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I can never adopt. Nor my kids can adopt. Yeah. Nor my parents are able to adopt. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I like I like that you're really open and you've given it us a lot of your time. We yeah. interrupted no, you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you so your so time. I really want to say thank you, and I really get. I, it's good that you can have such an open conversation. Yes. And yes. 
very Without well hesitation. diplomatically yeah. very diplomatically i really appreciate that yeah. and also wanted to say um for those who watch and they don't know anything about indians in kenya it's not all right complex. that's what, that a was a deep conversation yes. as well. Well. Yeah. Yeah. A of Indian and uh, as well. just let me meet well. nice meeting you so well. don't what area is this exactly? This is Kibera. Kibera. The slums. The slums, okay. Yeah. And do you see all that? Those houses over there? Yeah. That is government housing project. Moving yeah. people from the shanties mm -hmm. to these houses. Oh. They're building. But it is not big. They don't even use this area. Subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment and I shall see you in my next vlog. Bye bye.